Good morning and welcome to Alta Vista Elementary. We're excited to introduce our first annual STEM Day. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. And today our fifth graders have designed some great experiments in force and motion and they're demonstrating them to all the other grade levels. So we've got three classes. Each class has four groups and they're doing each four different experiments. Um, in Miss Gillespie's class, we've got pushing and pulling with carts. We've got balloon rockets. We've got magnets. We've even got a marble run. In some of the other classes, we're going to see paper airplanes to test friction. We're going to see gravity with penny flipping, and we're going to um, test friction also with different surfaces that cars are rolling down. We're really excited for our fifth graders to be taking on this leadership role and teaching our younger students more about science today here at Alta Vista Elementary. This is Kyra, and she's going to tell us a little bit more about our experiment over here. Ky Okay, all right. All right. What's your name? Deja. All right, Deja. So tell us, what is your experiment testing today? Magnetism and force. Okay. And tell us about what you've got set out to show the first graders. Okay, so which one do y'all think is stronger? This the big one? Okay, so. We're going to go closer and see how close it goes. So do y'all think this side is going to be different from this side or the same? Same. Different. Same. All right, so y'all are testing different types of magnets. All right, so first graders, tell me, is the magnets, raise your hand and tell me, are the magnets pushing or pulling the paper clips? Pulling. That's right, they're pulling the paper clips. All right, thank you, fifth graders. Keep up the great work. All right, welcome back to Alta Vista Elementary where we are testing out airplanes. This is Brandon, and he's going to tell us more about his experiment. Uh, so today, um, today is going to be learning, uh, like, does mass affect how far a paper airplane could go? Then we're gonna, they gonna see. Uh, we're gonna ask them a, this question: Does force um, um, the effects of push or pull okay. to the airplane? So the paper airplanes you're saying all have different masses. Okay, and we're gonna see which one flies the farthest. All right, first grade. Quick question, first grade. Do you think your airplanes are gonna fly in a straight line or a curved line? Raise your hand. A straight line. A straight line. All right. Anybody else have a different answer? What do you think? A curb. You think you're gonna fly in a curve line, okay? How do you think how do you think your airplane's gonna fly? Curve. Awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna step back and I'm gonna let you try them out. Rayoni, what do you think? Straight. Straight? All right, y'all test them out. Let's see how they go. Woo. Wow, look how far those airplanes flew. Good job, first grade. I'm with Miss Spark, one of our fifth grade teachers that helped plan and put on STEM Day today. Miss Spark, can you tell us more about your experiments for your class? Yes, um, the fifth grade has been studying force in motion for the last three weeks, and we are supposed to, in our standards, design experiments to show what we know about um, this particular concept. So during the week, the students decided what experiment they wanted to do based on a concept of force in motion. So we have four stations. One is on um, the force of gravity. One is on friction. One is on um, Newton's first law. And the other one is on Newton's third law of motion. So we are, um, the kids designed the experiments and now they are teaching the other students about it. All right, let's go take a look at some of those great projects. All right. All right, so over here we have an experiment where we're flipping pennies. Christian, can you tell us more about your experiment? If the penny has gravity, it'll go inside the cup. If it doesn't have gravity, it'll go out. If gravity is a thing that keeps us on the ground, if we didn't have gravity, we'll be all the way up in the sky. 
That's a great explanation. Can you show us how it works? Wow, and the pennies fell right straight into the cup. Awesome job. This experiment also has to do with inertia and the fact that objects at rest will stay at rest until a force is acted on them. And so when um, the, cup is, uh, the cup is on the, on the table and when the paper is flipped, the pennies, because of gravity, will fall in. They'll have motion, but they'll only move in one direction unless the force moves them in another. So they're falling down because of gravity. Awesome. Let's take a look at this experiment over here about friction. All right. So fifth grade, can y'all come tell me what your experiment is about over here? Um, uh, about friction. Okay. And what did y'all change in y'all's experiment? Okay, who wants to tell us about your experiment? Okay, okay. Um, our experiments, we're, ra the, we're letting the little ones race cars, uh, and, and we put sandpaper and fabric on our uh, wood boards so that the, we can test the friction. And we put, we're adding weight to the cars so, so they can see which car goes fastest in friction. Thank you. Okay, so first grade, which ramp do you think lets the car roll the farthest? All right, let's try it out. Put your car up there. All right. All right, when I say three, go. One, two, three. Ah, well, it looks like the black one actually rolled the farthest, but we'll keep giving it a shot. Thank you, first grade. I think he exerted a little force on that one. Brisa, will you tell us a little bit more about your experiment? Um, this is Newton's first law of motion. Um, whenever you, whenever it's just there, you, and you don't touch it, it stays the same direction. And once you um, pull it or pushed it, um, it that's whenever it um, changes direction. All right. Will you show us how it works? Oh, almost. Now. Are y'all explaining to first graders how this works? Yes. Okay. And do you think it's important that first grade get an opportunity to try these different experiments? Yeah. Why do you think it's important for first graders to learn these things? I think it's important for them so they will um, learn uh, Newton's first law of motion because um, they should get a chance to know it. And um, once they've known um, how gravity works, um, they could finally try it out. Thank you, Brisa. I'm over at one of the most popular stations for fifth grade, and this is the balloon rockets. Guys, can you tell us more about your experiment? Yes, ma'am. This uh, uh, experiment, is, uh, it's called the balloon express because it's just like a train. And the definition is for the Newton's third law is for for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. The statement means that in every interaction there is a pair of pro progress action on the two interaction objects. Okay, so can you tell us what's going to happen? What we're going to do is um, blow the balloon up. We're going to tape it to the straw and uh, one of us is gonna let it go and we're gonna ask them if, um, if, um, how far, uh, if, it, if it will go all the way and if they say yes, then, uh, then yeah, and see if it will go all the way. All right, are y'all ready to show us how it works? Okay, let's see. Um, it's gonna help me. Uh, put all the tape and Michael, my assistant, too. Uh, he's gonna put the tape and. So we put three pieces. Of yeah, we have three pieces of tape because it's not. It's and not gonna do. Two, it's not gonna do all of it. Okay, we're gonna let it go and see if it goes all the way over there, and then measure it. Uh, 
Awesome job, fifth grade. Thank you for showing us how that works. Right now I'm in Miss Drake's class with Tyler and he's gonna tell us about one of their experiments which is the marshmallow shooters. Uh, Tyler, can you tell us how your experiment works? Well, you uh, put this in the cup, then you pull this back and then you let it go. All right, wait. Awesome, and the marshmallow shoots out. Can you tell us what you're trying to teach first graders with this experiment? Uh, I'm gonna teach them how to do it so, like, when they get in fifth grade, they can learn how to ha learn how to make it and uh, shoot it. What kind of forces are acting on the marshmallow? Push and pull. And what pulls that marshmallow back down to the ground? Gravity. And so y'all are explaining all this to first grade. All right, can we sh can we see a f couple of y'all do it? All right, today you're looking at a parachute that Kyle and Miss Drake's class has made. His group is testing different types of paper to see which um, parachute uh, has the slowest fall. So, uh, Kyle, tell us more about your experiment. Uh, um, well, it fall down fast, and, and then it will go down because gravity pushing it down and force is making it fall down. All right, so can you show us how it works? Awesome. And so you have different parachutes that you're trying out and showing these first graders? Thank Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today here at Alta Vista for our first annual STEM Day. We think that science, technology, engineering, and math is super important for our students, and we're excited to have these hands-on um, activities for our students in all the grades to try out today. We hope you keep watching WIS-TV for more great things happening around the district.